All right, everyone listen carefully. Puck's scheduled to arrive at the Schneider's Pool at 2 p.m., which means he should be there at 3.30. Sam, you're the driver, so stay in the car. Well, can I play with the radio? Rory, you're on lookout here. Who am I looking out for? I mean, besides Puck. Blaine, Mike, and myself will triangulate a very carefully planned attack on Puck here, here, and here. Is that, isn't a bear I'm hiding behind? No, no, it's a bush. It looks like a bear. But it's not a bear, it's a bush. Maybe a shrub? What's the difference between a shrub and a bush? What do I do? Oh, it's the best part. You're going to be the bait. So when Puck comes in the gate, you just roll your wheelchair into the pool. And all of a sudden, we... You all right, dude? Well, you look like you saw a ghost, man. What's up? Just saw my dad. I haven't seen him in five years. I brought us a little refresher. The last six back from my microbrewery. Tuckerman's special sauce. I'm good. Oh, come on. If dad likes to share a beer with his son, be fine. All right. So, what are you doing here? I hate to do this, but uh, I'm kind of at the end of my rope. I need to borrow some money. From me? Mm. For what? Rent. Hardest thing for a man to do is ask for help. What did you do? I gave it to him. 500 bucks. It's most of my seed money for L.A. I don't get it. Why? Because I knew if I gave it to him, I'd never have to see him again. You know, he dropped out of high school, too. Just kept seeing myself sitting where he was sitting, across from Beth. No dignity, no future. Begging her for rent money. I cannot let that happen to me. I have to graduate. And to do that, I have to pass this damn European geography test. Will you help me? Please? Never leave a man behind. Thanks, bro.